Just Snowmobiles, if you're not on Facebook, why aren't you? Anyway, um, I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of Sunshine. It's a little girl from uh, Ishpeming that uh, was just a few months ago um, was collecting uh, a snowmobile fund. She wanted her own snowmobile. And at school, one of the little girls, one of her little friends didn't have belt money. And so one day, her grandmother saw her taking through her little jar of money and collecting something. Going, well, what are you doing? Well, this, this, my friend at school doesn't have enough money, and I'm taking this to her to give to her. And she wound up, I believe, donating all of her school money to, to, the, to the girls at school. And her mom started a GoFundMe account to collect enough money to raise for her school for the kids that didn't have it. And um, just last month, Articat picked up on it, and they were appalled and uh, gave her her own 120 Articat. And she's here today. And, uh, interestingly enough, I don't know how I did it. I managed to get down to her. All the way from Michigan. So that's, it, this is all about her. And her name really is Sunshine, and she really is that. So, anyway, thank you. Come on up, Sunshine. We got nowhere to bring the tool. We're doing a selfie together. Time that it reached $1,000. Within 24 hours, it hit like $5,000. So Holy then I, man. yeah. So then I had to change things around instead of just doing her class for second semester. Yeah. Then I did the kindergarten class because they were talking for 74 kids for a half a year of school, it's $5,000 for milk. Hmm. It's a little pricey. A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Um, so then. That hit instantly, and so then it became the fact that I was, I'm looking at the non-profit uh, fund because there's so, mm -hmm. there's so many people that still want to help. Right. They want to help her, and so I'm looking at starting a non-profit through, um, I filed for that form to the IRS mm -hmm. to start Sunshine's Fund. So when she has the need to help somebody, because she has that gift, right. that there's money to help. Does that make sense? Exactly. Um, and we were at Starbucks on Black Friday. I bought her an iPad um, from Verizon on a Black Friday special because I wanted to use her old iPad to put all of this story on. Because with tech, she's five. She doesn't understand the impact that she's made. Right. And I need to save it for her some way, somehow. So I'm using my old iPad Air that I've given her, and I'm going to put like all the videos that I can I'm to save it to the iPad and all um, making Word documents and stuff oh, yeah. to save in the iPad in its box with the charger and stuff. And then when it's all said and done, I can put it in her hope chest. So in years to come, she can pull it out, and it's all right there. Right. So we went to Verizon to get her iPad and then went to Starbucks to set it up and use her Wi-Fi. And I'm setting up her iPad and she's talking to one of the baristas there and they're talking about this tree that's there. It has all these tags on it. I didn't pay attention. Like anybody else in that store, nobody paid attention. So Sunshine spent 15 minutes, it was this girl's break, 15 minutes walking around this tree looking at all these tags. And then came back, by, the girl went back to work and Sunshine came back by me and we worked on our iPads. And it was about 30 minutes later we decided to leave, we're getting ready to leave and Sunshine says, can you help me? Says to this man, can you help me? And he says, sure. And I kind of look at her and she Ooh. says, can you get me that tag right there? And she was very specific on what tag she wanted. And then she walked to the other side of the tree and she says, Mom, can you get me this tag? I'm like, okay. So mm -hmm. now she has two tags and she says, I want to give these girls a Christmas. It's a giving tree. And the barista was explaining to son, they were taking the tags off and reading them of what these girls, what they're, because these kids don't get Christmas. Right. And so they're in a special program with their tags and stuff. She remembered those two girls in particular and what they wanted for Christmas. This is 30 minutes later. Mm. Once again, nobody pays attention to that tree. Do you right. know what I mean? I go in and get my coffee. She I, did. She paid it, not only, but she processed it. So we grab those tags. One is a 17 year old girl, one is an 18 year old girl. They're both seniors in high school. One wants groceries and the other one wants winter clothing. Mm. And um, so Sunshine has been shopping. Mm. I'm letting her pick up, and I, it has to be anonymous, which really is, I don't, she doesn't need the praise for it, 
But I wish there was a way I could explain to those girls that she is doing their right. stuff, you know, so she's put the Michigan Snowmobile Magazine is here, yeah. and they would like to get a picture of her. Oh, absolutely. Put in there, so if you guys want to come out front, he's interviewing okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll be out there in a minute. Okay. Yeah, awesome. Okay, we're going to finish this. So How lucky can... is that? Right. So she's been shopping for these two teenage girls for Christmas. And this is, and it's all her. Besides the milk one. Besides the milk one, yep. Besides so, everything else. Yeah. So she um has bought. She has some pretty big dreams for Grandma to fill. <laughs> I follow. <laughs> she leads. I follow. Thankfully, with the support you're gaining, you know. The support is locally, I'm, even nationally, and maybe even internationally. Internationally is huge. Internationally is huge. We're actually working with Discovery.com right now mm. with a uh, documentary about kindness about people being kind and you only find it from children it seems lately and that's that's how this started because the night that she started counting her money and she reached into that snowmobile fund i about had a heart attack to begin with because like i said for three years she's wanted a snowmobile she has asked santa for a snowmobile for her birthday she's wanted a snowmobile and when she got into that money, I was shocked. But I, I watched her because, you know, she want, she's trying right. so hard to learn to read and working in kindergarten. That's a lot of work. But when she put the money into a bag instead, instead of a piggy bag, right. I started getting concerned, and that's when I questioned it. Right, what are you buying, honey? So then she said she was taking it to school, and I asked why, and she says, for milk. I said, no, you get milk. You know, we, I pay for all your milk. And right. she says, well, my friend's mom doesn't have milk money, and I do. Well, I all of a sudden, had, I can't tell her she can't spend her own money. I can't tell her she can't help her friends. And so the next day, we went to the school to talk to the teacher about it. And I'm like, I really don't know what to do. I'm a non-traditional parent in this situation. I really don't know right. how to handle this. I can't buy everybody milk. Right. So she kept asking me to help. She wanted me to help. I'm like, I don't know how to help. So I felt it like a failure as a parent because I couldn't help her. I've never told her she can't do anything. I've told well, her, like, you know, like you said, you, so you started the GoFundMe account where it's just blue, it blew stupid. Up. <laughs> it, it did. It blew up because it gave people hope and faith and then her name. You know, and uh, that GoFundMe is still active, so I encourage you on Just Snowmobiles, on YouTube, uh, wherever you are, go there and donate a dollar, anything, anything. And people have. They've donated 50 cents. They've donated a dollar. I've had um, as high as $500 donations, but it gives people hope. They want to help her help somebody. And it's... Well, I, I just, you know, if... if the 72,000 people on Just Snowmobiles donated one dollar to you. One dollar. That I, would pay for all the milk for your school, Marquette School, <laughs> like all the schools around the area. That literally would. Yes. But, and, you know, and then hopefully it'll it'll spread out to, like, hot lunches to make sure no child is turned away from hot lunches. Or whatever um, sure Sunshine it, has in her future. Whatever you know. she finds. Right. Yep. So just a little quick quick interview with Sunshine because I don't know if anybody realizes it or not she's never been literally on video other than pictures and a few news stories that we did so that's okay. the medal you got today that they gave you I couldn't wait really so why did they give you the medal because I had my muck money because my friend didn't have no muck money why would you give your friend milk money instead of keeping it for a snowmobile I wanted to give her milk money because we're going to have no milk money. Even though you wouldn't have a snowmobile, you would be willing to do that? Yeah. Wow. That's more powerful than a lot of people. So, so were you happy that Articat, uh, what, what do you think about that when Articat came to you? What, what happened then? I was so proud of myself. And they gave you your very own snowmobile. Yeah. So now, instead of saving that money for a snowmobile, you're saving it for your friends. Yeah. And how old are you? Six. Six. Wow. That's probably... <laughs> so that, that's got to be more powerful and inspirational than any adults, really, that I know of, so... Don't ever, don't ever stop being who you are. I'm not. Good. Wow. Um, we'll be catching up.
up on the circuit, I'm sure. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, Masters Racing Circuit, like I told you, they're uh, really into the kids and they do, they have the, some of the fastest snowmobiles, not the fastest, but they make racing it, they make it something <laughs> special for kids and that's something you don't see anymore, so. Anyway, I know Skip will love to have her racing and uh, we'll be talking to her every single time and I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to raise some money for you guys too, so. That would be awesome. I mean, who, who can say no to her? <laughs> <laughs> so I really do hope you guys uh, I hope you guys like this video make sure you hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button hit that share button and talk about this uh, what can you do in your community to help out where you live pretty inspirational listening to this little girl makes you think what can you change in your life have a great day everybody